Okay, guys, welcome back to Jade Strategy. Another excellent day here in the markets. Live, well, rocking live with you guys today on Twitter, Telegram, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and much, much more. Let's go ahead and hop into today's overall market cap. Overall market cap is coming in at 1.9 trillion. 24 hour volumes coming in at 72 billion. Bitcoin dominance coming in at 42%. Ethereum is at 18% dominance. Ethereum gas currently is at 50 GUI. Bitcoin's price coming in at 44,000. Ethereum's price coming in at 3.127. US Tether is a dollar, holding strong with a volume of $50 billion, showing a circulating supply. BNB is coming in at $429. Very nice. You can see that Bitcoin is pulled back at almost um, 0.37. Ethereum pullback 0.16. So let's go ahead and hop into XRP. XRP is uh, 0.82. And uh, so basically, you can see the markets pull back half a percent to 1.5 percent. And this is during the Asian sessions that we're holding right now. Right now, we can actually hop into the Bitcoin charts and you can see that we have these different sessions. And in each session, you can see right here, right here in New York, Tokyo. These are all different sessions. This is trader reality. This is. Um, an indicator that will tell you the different sessions of the day and if you go here and you look at the different sessions and how they hold the price and how they trade the price in the price range remember when someone sells someone needs to buy when someone buys someone needs to sell so there needs to be that balance in the market you can see that we have our different zones let's go ahead and hop into the one hour time frame on a smaller time frame chart we can see that European brink session had started they had pulled it up here and actually it ended up coming back to a mid-level of the PP zone. And I can actually say that we're going to come back and retest the M2 zone, which is right below the 50 EMA average on the one hour chart in order for more upside movement. That would be an excellent version of what would need to happen on the shorter time frames on the Bitcoin chart on the one hour. In the four hour time frame, we are going to see a longer thing we can see that we have this big vector candle right here so you must be aware that we can come back and take this vector candle now guys when this vector candle um when these happen here and you see these gaps in these areas these areas can always be taken back like this and then this is where now this used to be resistance okay so you see there's like an area here okay that was resisting the price and I'm trying to explain this to you guys so you guys can understand this more and you guys can understand like how the Bitcoin market works and like what's gonna happen next with the Bitcoin market what's the next big thing if you hop on over, over to uh, coin telegraph coin telegraph excellent service for getting all of your top Bitcoin news now Bitcoin is the main uh, guy on the market you're gonna want to look and you can see like the New York markets as far as it is like the S&P index you can see how the S&P trades within the sessions. Excellent um, targets here on as far as charting and the indicators, but you can actually see how he held this level within the 50 EMA on the one hour chart for the S&P throughout the whole day. Okay, so we need to see what kind of action plays in, especially for this moving average right here. All right, you could actually go, it's the moving average in between the M5 and M4 zones. And this is a big build-up area of, um, we're going to call it bullishness for you guys. So, this is what we need to build up. 10-year bonds. We can go ahead and hop into the 10-year bonds here. And we can see that the United States, oh, where is my uh, information here? Let me just go ahead and see what here. Well, we have Bitcoin. We have the US 500. And then we have, uh, let's see, Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is up nice. Um, Bitcoin, here we go. Here's the U.S. 10 years. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, that the U.S. 10 year, how it was pulled up during um, the presidential speaking. You can see here how the rates were pulled up. Now, people are looking for different safe havens, which is gold. Gold, or people are buying into gold for safe haven. You can see gold was pulled back, so people are actually going for more risky assets. And you can even see that it's pulling back below on the one hour, coming towards the EMA moving averages. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum, guys. Ethereum is another big one on the market. I love the way she moves. She really respects levels as far as percentages in different zones. You can see that Ethereum actually is up 1% and it's flat on the seven day, $373 billion market cap volume, 12.5 billion and a circulating supply of 119 million, 119,000 ETH actually. So 
you know, we gotta uh, also to play into account, guys. There's a limited amount, a limited supply of Bitcoin. Bitcoin will be mined and it will be continued to be halved, and then Bitcoin will go down and cut, and it'll be like you know, earning a, a more an asset that actually is becoming much more scarce. The top ten coins actually would be if you want to invest and you're looking to get into something, you can take your 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 top money and say you just take a little bit of Bitcoin. You would buy into say say you had one hundred dollars. You could buy fifty dollars of Bitcoin, twenty five dollars of Ethereum, and then twenty five dollars of Binance coin, twenty five dollars of XRP, and then twenty five dollars of Solano. Okay, and then there you go. You got four twenty five dollars in in each of these tokens, and then you got your fifty in Bitcoin. So you could do a split up averages, different percentages. Let's hop into the news. Sixty one percent of uh, financial players to embark on crypto journey. Look at this. This is sixty one percent. This just came out five minutes ago. So there's actually a big demand want and need in the market for the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is definitely an excellent source and transfer of value. You could transfer value from one person to another. Demonstrated on the Bitcoin blockchain yesterday, $1.9 billion was moved with a transaction fee of only $3.26 on the Bitcoin chain. No banks, nobody to stop the transaction, no, uh, no 24 hour, 72-hour waits, holds, or any kind of things like this. Bitcoin automatically approves into the next block telling that assignment of value into that next key. So definitely a very interesting um, blockchain information to use here. Now you can see a lot more institutional information has come into the market. Now institutions are trying to buy into Bitcoin so that way they can hold it on their balance sheets. And that way the bank can hold Bitcoin. They can also invest more into it, stabilize their monetary supplies, and get more illiquid supply for the, the people. We need more of a liquid supply for the people so that way people have more access and usage to move their money around at farewell and as needed in order to grow the human race and human expansion here during the evolution of life on planet earth so this is the monetary systems that we're facing right now you can go ahead and look into the market news and this will tell you about what's happening in the market and different kind of market news and market uh, statistics. There's so much of different websites you can use. I use this website because it's very good to uh, show you guys, especially the visuals and thumbnails. Uh, the general public is hard to explain uh, very technical things to them, but if you show people visualization, then it's definitely a lot easier to understand. Okay, traders say 4,000 Ethereum back on the cards, okay, if this bullish chart plays out. So Ethereum definitely bullish. We can go ahead and hop into this and we can see if that we're, what we're talking about here on longer time frames. We came into the part of our segment, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. We love your support all day long, every day. We drop all this information, news, reports, live for you all day, every day. Don't forget to smash that like button. Follow Trades for Radio, J Strategies on Twitter. Hop into our Telegram channels. We have a sponsor today, which is War of Tribes. War of Tribes is definitely a big gaming, NFT gaming. That's going to be the year 2022, which is right now. It's in quarter one. Mar uh, game will be coming out, and you can see different uh, statistics of the market here on War of Tribes price. Uh, you could definitely hop into the coin market cap, jump into the socials, definitely uh, some stuff to really look at here. I really see some potentials in these really crypto moonshots here, uh, especially in the gaming industry. The gaming tokens and play to earn is going to be a really big industry, so we can definitely do a shout out for them. And then as far as entertainment come, you know, happens in the industries, Gone Wild is another token that's definitely good for um, as far as entertainment. Definitely good times to look at and see where you're going to stabilize your money in the markets. And you can actually see, hopping into the coin market cap, overall, you can see all of the different tokens and coins that are on the uh, different blockchains. So you can see here, we're going to hop into some XRP stuff. But first, let's go ahead and look at the Bitcoin daily chart. And we're going to see how an inverse head and shoulders is playing out on this chart here. Okay? You can see that this is an inverse head and shoulders. Now how that happens is a regular head and shoulders would break us to the downside. Inverse head and shoulders gives us this area here that you can see like um, from how far away or you know uh, from the top of the head and shoulders, the neckline of the head and shoulders, you can see that we're riding it right along here. So if we come back up above the 46k and then hold that range I would definitely see a really bullish playing out and uh, coming into another market structure so this was definitely a good reversal okay um, as far as when the market did reverse back down here to come up creating a nice head and inverse head and shoulders pattern 
on the time frame. Definitely looks like a smiley face, guys. You can see, there we go. There's our big smiley face we can rock out here. Bitcoin price, baby. So, what we do want to see today is XRP gang in the house. 0.82 cents, holding these moving averages excellent on the daily price trading in between the 50 and the 200. So you can see this tight little trading area. I want to see some nice bullets to break to the upside, busting out over $1 on XRP, guys. Definitely very bullish on XRP in the long term. Avalanche had some really nice moves on the market um, in the past few days. You can see how we pulled up, and now we definitely pulled above the 50 moving average. I want to see a retest, positive retest of this confirmation to the upside. Phantom, Phantom, very nice token, very nice coin. We've been trading, we've been talking about it. So after we ended up pulling away from this moving average here on the daily, we knew that we were going to pull back down towards this moving average. Now that we pulled below the moving average and we retested it, I want to see a hit of the moving average on the daily, breaks through another daily candle, hit it, retest, and then continuation to the upside. So that would be the bullish scenario for Phantom. Dogecoin, Dogecoin in the house. Are, are, you know what I mean? We got Dogecoin here. You can see Dogecoin trades different levels because of how the exchanges are topping off, uh, pulling down. So you can see that how we pulled below the 50 moving average and then we kept trying to test it, trying to break above it. Next bullish thing I wanna see is I wanna see it break above it, retest it, and continuation to the upside. That would be a long on Dogecoin. So we're looking for some breakouts here, possibly on these charts. Cardano in the house, ADA, top tokens. Excellent project, ADA, Cardano, and XRP are going to be some of my top projects that we moved into. We did actually move more from Solano into Cardano. <laughs> so guys, definitely bullish moves here in the market. And as you can see, I'm definitely shooting for the 122 target at least, or a 120 target for a bullish price on Cardano. Cake token through the Binance Smart Chain. Cake is pulling below the 50 EMA. It's definitely a good time to get into Cake. Cake is the reward token for the Binance Smart Chain pancake swap for yield farming your money. We have videos on our YouTube on how to yield farm with baby swap with eucala swap with all the different swap sites gold farm and everybody else guys you can hop in you can follow those videos back on my youtube we always drop information for you guys all day every day we love you guys guys don't forget to smash the like button don't forget to follow us on twitter we're always on there we're always dropping news information reports and much much more for you guys all day every day i just want to see cryptocurrency be adopted in the right way i just want to see people hold and people do the right thing and people express themselves properly in the markets so don't forget to smash that like button guys don't forget to follow us on twitter we dropped excellent crypto news all the time for you guys let's go ahead and have an excellent day today smash that like button drop comments below and guys remember j strategies tim moon